with the purpose of CP Light, it really afford the commander uh, a presence, a forward line presence, without not sacrificing space. Now also give them a, a full mission command as far as you interact with the troops, give them a good battlefield circulation, and most importantly, you're right there within the fight. With the CP Light concept, the Aviation Brigade gained mobility uh, and occupy a much more smaller footprint without sacrificing mission command and most importantly maintain a forward line presence. And, uh, and with that, it really offer great capabilities, such as being a hybrid. Moving forward, we're right there with the troops, so the support are always present. And another great advantage about the CP Light, like we talked about, is significantly smaller than a regular command post. It's almost half the size of a command post, and you can set it up relatively fast. Really, it's about how fast we can move out throughout the battlefield. Um, we can break down in less than an hour, and we can move forward a lot faster. Um, it's a much smaller footprint, however, it's, it provides the same capabilities that our large trash would, and our large setup would normally have. But each one of us are wearing about three different hats every night. Um, RTO example, right now we don't really have a battle MCO. <clears throat> so he's performing as the RTO and he's performing as a battle MCO. So they're having to track the movements um, throughout. And we're not only tracking here out at the Calfex, we're actually tracking all of the brigade movements. Um, we bring out our, our best soldiers out to the CP Light. Um, that way we can do what the normal staff does together, but at a much smaller scale. So uh, you don't have 20 people asking the same questions. You all communicate with each other. You're a lot closer to each other, so everybody's kind of tracking what's going on.